Hi and welcome. We're here in beautiful Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. And I have with me here today is a 1970s MF50A backhoe. Now I didn't get the backhoe unit with this thing. Someone took it off and discarded it or sold it. They also cut off most of the cab, leaving the backhoe, uh, the lever pedestal behind. They installed the counterweight on the back. It's a 45 gallon drum full of concrete. It's interesting to note that these machines, and uh, we've had quite a few of them, they do not have any guts for the PTO, none whatsoever. It's all thong. Some of the smaller machines like the MF30 actually did come with everything inside them, just no arms. So uh, you had the uh, splined hat for the extension housing with, that the arms could attach to. You had uh, the PTO pump. Everything was in there. Everything you needed was in there. You just had to put, take the backhoe off, put the arms on and go. So this is a purpose-built backhoe. And that's what it was designed for. And it's based off every other farm tractor out there built during the same period. So basically the engine and transmission tail housing, they're all a stress member. They hold it all together. So whenever you need to repair one, you have to do this. You split it apart and you just roll the front away from the back. Now, there are some common problems with these. And a lot of times, as with this one, it came to me with no reverse. So I removed everything. I removed the oil pump and housing, the idler shafts and the clutch packs. And I have those in the garage. And I'm going to make a video shortly about a teardown. And I'm going to take them apart and we'll find out what went wrong together. There are some things that commonly go wrong. These machines, often the brakes wear out early or perhaps I'm just uh, getting the machines late and they've had brakes. But when the brakes go out, People use reverse to stop the machine. And that's a problem because it is hard on the transmission. So this particular one, it's just like a garden tractor. It's got a forward and reverse pedal. That's it. And of course, it's got high and low range and two gears. So it's a, it's a pretty good machine, actually. I, I've liked these. I've, I've got one myself and uh, I really like using it. And it's a durable machine. So like I said, I'm going to do the video on that. Uh, that uh, clutch pack assembly. And I'm going to take it apart. And I'm going to show you what went wrong with that one. And hopefully somebody somewhere can benefit from this video. Because the way society is going, it is getting really expensive to fix your tractors. And... Not everybody can afford to just send it off to the dealership and have it repaired. Not that the dealership actually wants to deal with these old machines anymore. They'd probably rather you just bought a new machine. So the longer you can keep this running, <clears throat> regardless, I mean, you could spend, uh, I, I would imagine rebuilding this transmission is going to cost about a thousand bucks, maybe a little less, but it sure beats to five grand to pull it apart at a dealership and repair it. And at the same time, they'll try and try to sell you everything else under the sun for your machine. So keep watching. I'll have a video for you shortly. And hopefully uh, it can help someone. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching.